Welcome back. Corey is checking out Hickman's eggs, and they have an egg carton manufacturing plant. Corey's yeah. there. I think this is really interesting, Corey, because not only do they literally pop out billions of eggs every year yes. for like the entire Southwest, mm -hmm. now they're making their own packaging, and it's environmentally friendly. Yeah, and it's so smart, you know, and uh, Brandon uh, Hickman was telling me that uh, it, it really kind of helped them push through the pandemic, you know, those 22 months or so, uh, where they were able to not have to buy stuff from others, but buy their own. And look where we are. It's so beautiful out here. We're in Avondale. Those are the Estrellas out there. And it's really a lovely spot. I love the west side out here. And here's where it's all happening. They bought their own factory and they're doing their own thing. And we've got Brandon Hickman with us right now. Good to see you, brother. And this is Keith Zarniak. Good morning. You're in charge of keeping this line running. And uh, we're going to talk our way through that. But first of all, we were showing off those water bottles. And we see billions of them laying all over the place. It's amazing that, hold that, show me through that. Uh, how you're able to turn those into one of these and to kind of keep the whole cycle going. It's really impressive. Yeah, so what we're doing in this room right here behind me is that we're actually putting a flake and we're creating a, a carton out of that. So when we put material into this extrusion line, what's happening is that it's processing through this reactor right here and we're going through a very uh, what's called an extrusion and that screw is melting and shearing this plastic to a, to a sheet and that gotcha. sheet is then going into a process where it then gets made into a unit and what you see. Give me an idea of the raw material you're talking about. Show that to us. It's just fascinating to me. What we're doing is we're actually uh, buying this flake, and this is a wash material. This was once a water bottle, uh, Sprite bottle, typically, I mean, not Sprite, uh, but we got Coke and everything in here. And they process it, they wash it and clean it, and then we put it into our, our system, mm -hmm. and it goes through, and that's how the recycling process begins in this, in this face uh, it's really good Keith, come over here a second yes, kind of I'm a dummy so no, walk me walk me through how how you're getting from those little flakes to those sheets you were described so in this in this uh, area of the warehouse we load the flake it gets mixed up it gets heated up it goes through the extrusion process where it gets heated to well above 500 degrees mm -hmm. where it gets melted and then it, it eventually comes out a dive where we go through, it gets pressed into a sheet that's about six, seven feet wide, and it could be as thick as you want it to. And at the end, we roll it into um, big old rolls that we can use uh -huh. for ourselves or sell to our customers. Wow, I just love the whole idea. And uh, so, Brandon, this, how, how does this brainchild all get going? Are you just looking at your numbers saying, why are we still buying these cartons from who knows where, maybe we could make our own. Yeah, so what happened is the supply chain in the egg industry has been less than stellar for a very long time. And most people don't know, but COVID made it, or COVID started making it even worse. Um, mm -hmm. So this kind of was in, in pre-talks before COVID and it kind of helped us expand a little more as COVID made an impact and hurt supply chain really bad. Mm -hmm. And what happened is we, we got to exploit our system a little better. So we made our own package, um, put it through our system, and who would know the packaging better than we do? We run it yeah. every single day. So at that point, we, we kept following through with it, following through with it, uh, evolving and evolving. And at that point, we've got to this, and uh, yeah. it's helped us get through some serious pandemic problems. Uh, but, and uh, as we wrap it up, we always love the numbers. How many millions of eggs do you think your company um, so produces in a year any idea uh in a year that's a good question well, i would have to break actually, it down so weekly i'd say our package is probably going through about a million dozen a week and a million dozen 12 million eggs a week through our plastic packaging and then on top of that if, if every package we make the, saves about three to four bottles so if you do that math that's three four million bottles saved from land you're, you're both heroes just stand <laughs> next to each other if you had capes on you couldn't be any more <laughs> impressive all right more coming your way from the Hickman world where they're making their own packaging now and keeping everything right in the loop. We've got lots more to show you from Avondale in just a couple of minutes. Welcome back. Corey is checking out Hickman Eggs Egg Carton Manufacturing Plant. Wasn't that neat how you saw all the plastic in that bowl? What a process, Corey. I know. Well, I, we love the Hickmans. They're all over the place and they've been, uh, you know, a friend of the show. We see them a lot and we've been, I've been covering them for 20 years and they're always expanding, always doing something new. They've got two of these machines running now in this plant and 
We've got Philip Scott over here with us, and uh, Philip, I can't get over how this, this process works, or how it's helping you guys. You're just kind of in a, a cycle here. These were formerly water bottles, all kinds of plastic bottles, yes, right? Yeah, these were formerly water bottles. Now we're taking these water bottles and we're turning them into new products. Yeah, so you melted them down to make these rolls, right? I can't believe, yeah. you must have a hundred of these in the plant, maybe more. I can't believe you need that many cartons, but I guess you do. You're putting out eggs all the time. Absolutely. Walk us through the process here. Okay, so right here, this is the unwinding station. This is where it enters the thermal former. So it's unwound and then it goes into the heating tunnel. Gotcha. Oh. Yep. In the heating tunnel, it heats the, it heats the sheet to a uniform uh, uniform thickness then it goes into the mold station so the mold station has a cooler in it like a car so it's got cold water running through it and then the heated sheet goes in and it gets vacuumed and then there's a plug assist that comes up from the bottom that pushes it up in and it instantaneously a carton wow. is so they're immediately heated but then immediately cooled yep instantaneously cooled wow well yep. I always love the numbers yep. uh, do you have a number on how many are coming through here in a minute or an hour? How's it work? Absolutely. I'm doing an average of 72,000 cartons a day, which equals 9,000 cartons an hour. <laughs> it's fascinating. I just love the whole idea. So you're sir, are you serving, would you say now that every egg that uh, Hickman's is producing is in one of your cartons, or are you still catching up? We, we still have some other packaging that we're utilizing at this time, but I would say that we're, we're we're trying to go towards having the majority of, or if not all of our packaging, be in a sustainable carton. Gotcha. Well, we can see beyond uh, the uh, machine over here, uh, the excess is being uh, pushed out over at this, uh, well, we'll just move on through here, sorry. Um, the, uh, the, the excess that was formerly around those cartons this is just waste material. What's what's going to happen to this? Oh, that's correct. So this is our skeleton, and this goes into the grinder. Then the grinder takes this, it particulates into your granules, and then we move it into the other room where we extrude it again, and it becomes 100% closed loop. Wow. So we can just keep extruding Melt it, her all back melting down. it back down, turning it into a cart, take the scrap, bring it back into this room, make it into a new cart. I love it. Well, come on over here. We'll uh, say goodbye to Brandon. Uh, and Brandon, congratulations Thanks. on designing this plant and making it all happen. Uh, I think you're probably going to be a nice example of uh, how to make things work for other companies. Uh, Give us 15 seconds on tooting your own horn. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that I can at least incentivize everyone to reduce waste in Arizona or the U.S. So yeah. um, that's our mission. That's our goal, and we'll stick to it. All right. Onward with the Higgins. Great to see you, brother. Uh, and again, it's all happening here in Avondale, which is just one of the most growing towns in the whole valley for sure. Anyway, next time we get together, Tom and I are going to head to the zoo. I don't know what's happening out there. There's always something running around or eating something else or I don't know. Yes. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a zookeeper. But I love the action out there. So we'll meet up with Christy and see what's happening.